Welcome to Reading the Pattern, some more casting news for the Wheel of Time TV show coming your way, along with a spoiler-free character profile. And today I get to talk about a favorite. I say that about all the characters, don't I? So once again, if you're new to my channel, these spoiler-free videos are designed to give you everything you'd want to know about the Wheel of Time characters and who will be playing them in the upcoming TV show, but without spoiling anything from the book series. It's giving you general background information that's helpful to understand what's going on, but without giving away any plot points. So have no fear and watch on. So let's talk about Min. Min, when we first meet her, is a young woman who works as a groom at an inn. She likes horses, but it's not everything she thought it would be. She's tried a lot of other jobs before, and none of them really seemed to suit her. Some of them simply because they required her to wear dresses, which she loathes. Min prefers to wear boys' clothes and keeps her hair worn short. She also rejects her full name, Elmandretta, because she was named after a woman in a story who was always sighing after men. Min was raised by three aunts who tried to make a proper woman out of her, but failed. They were really no match for her own sense of independence and strong will. Min also has a wry sense of humor and loves teasing her friends. She can throw a knife with the best of them. But her real gift is something that seems totally unique. I feel the need to give a slightly bigger caveat than I usually do about spoilers. So what I'm about to explain is in no way a spoiler for the books. Min's ability is one of the most elemental things about her, and we learn about it as soon as we meet Min. No part of what she does, what it is or isn't, is kept a mystery in the books. That said... The TV show may handle things a little bit differently, and it is possible that they could make a plot point out of Min discovering something about her ability or accepting something about her ability. So with other characters who have abilities they either don't know about or that develop over the course of the series, even if those revelations happen very early, I've kept them out of my spoiler-free videos. I am treating this one differently because the books treat it differently. But for anyone who is extremely wary of potential spoilers, I do want to just point that out, that the TV show may treat this a little bit differently. And if you do want to skip to the part where I talk about Min's actress, I'll put that timestamp on the screen right here. Starting at the age of 12, Min starts seeing auras around people sometimes. And it takes her a while to figure out what's happening and that not everyone can do what she does. The images that she sees are of things happening or that things that will happen to the people that they surround. Over time, she gradually stops telling people about her viewings after she is accused of causing a man to leave his wife for another woman. She also eventually realizes that whether she tells people about her viewings or not, they happen anyway. Most of the time, Min doesn't know exactly what the viewings mean. So Min is a kind of oracle or seer character, but with much less vagueness or mystery about her person. She is a human being with her own desires, and her ability does give her a rather unique view of her own role in the pattern. The pattern is something that should also be explained here because it not only relates to the world building that Robert Jordan created, but also Min's ability as well. I will link to a really fantastic deep dive video that Unraveling the Pattern did. But for now, the basics. The pattern is Robert Jordan's word for the reality of his world. The summation of existence, past, present, and future is the pattern, and the threads it uses are people's lives. His concept was there is a wheel of time which weaves the pattern, and again, the threads it's using are people's lives. Each age, of which there are seven that reoccur in a cyclical fashion has its own pattern of an age. There are three things that are said to exist outside of the pattern. The creator who made the wheel, the dark one who has been imprisoned outside of the pattern since the moment of creation, and the one power which turns the wheel. Think of it like water turning a water wheel. The One Power is also the source of magic in the world, and people called channelers can access it. 
usually the pattern weaves itself without regard for how it would affect individual threats. But occasionally the pattern is in need of correction. And in that case, a individual thread can be chosen to be Taviran. And that person then becomes a focal point of the pattern and can influence other people and events, drawing them in and allowing the pattern to correct. There are degrees of being Taviran and a very powerful one can have profound effects on world events and trigger occurrences that would otherwise be very unlikely. So what does this all have to do with Min? She's essentially getting glimpses of the pattern, which is why she can see things that haven't happened yet and why individuals aren't able to just change the things that she sees. She calls her visions viewings, but you could also call what she does reading the pattern, which was one of the inspirations for the name of this channel. Now let's talk about the actress playing Min. She is a British actress named Kay Alexander, and she probably first became known for her role in the British sitcom Bad Education, which she starred on from 2012 to 2014. Like a lot of other actors in the Wheel of Time cast, she also has some theater experience in addition to film and television. Another noteworthy role was in the four-part BBC and Netflix drama Collateral, where she played a principal witness in a murder trial. And lastly, you might not recognize her from this role since she looks so different, but she is well known for playing the role of Leaf, one of the children of the forest in Game of Thrones. What do you guys think about this casting for Min? I'm really intrigued to see what she's going to bring to it. We've seen that she can rock the short hair look and she's got a pretty interesting variety of roles in her resume, so I am excited. Now, Min can be a pretty controversial character in the Wheel of Time fandom, and I am prepared to talk all about that in an upcoming spoiler-filled video all about Min and the question of, is she a sexy lamp? Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss that one and all the upcoming casting videos with spoiler-free character profiles.